Hare Krishna, everybody, welcome. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Indra Mataji. I think I missed you for some time. <laughs> you been busy? No, just last week only. Just last week. Oh, you see, mm. you know that uh, the prayer that Mahaprabhu will say in Sishastakam, one moment seems like 12 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. 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 like that. So that's how we miss each other. Okay, just give me a moment. Anybody ready for Kirtan, Mini Kirtan? Okay, let's take Darshan of the Lordships. Anybody would like to lead Mini Kirtan today? Hmm, who do we have? Oh, Rajina Mataji here. Anybody? Punita Mataji? Prema Papu Mataji? Do you know the tune? Would you like to try? Do you want me to say the Omar? Dasha or just the Nama Om, you can start from Nama Om because later I will recite the prayers. If I go out of tune, just <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay. Nama Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Mama, Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sutra Asatya Desatarine Namaste Sarasimati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Two more times, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 
Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Everybody last Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 So do we have all Mataji today? Okay. Kenalan Prabhu is not in yet. Okay, so let me offer prayers to all the spiritual teachers. Om Jnana Timirandhasya Jnana Jana Salakaya Chaksuru Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Vikna Vinasha Narsimha Iti Namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Sunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaurakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Okay, my internet connection is unstable. So whenever I go off, just please alert me. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Energizer of the day. Speak your mind. If you were given a chance to pray to the Lord, either for yourself or for someone else, what would be your prayer and why? This question will come twice in the beginning of the lesson. And after we finish the lesson, so we want to see how your the mood of your prayers or the content of your prayers will change or not. Okay, anybody would like to share? So, it's so quiet, everyone. Don't be shy. What do you pray? I'm sure you pray every day. You pray for yourself or you pray for others. Hare Krishna, Please. Mataji. Yes, Prema Mataji. Please proceed. Okay, Mataji. Um, this is for when I pray for others. When I pray, mm. I pray for myself and of course for others. The moment mm. uh, we have started this Bhagavad Gita class and the chanting and everything, I could see big difference in me mm. and how I'm taking um, life has, you know, and how problems comes and how do you uh, face the problems and how it makes you to think. Mm. So when I see other people, I sort of like, I pity for them. Pity for them, maybe their time is not there yet. Maybe, you know, they haven't got the opportunity yet. Anybody to go and talk about Krishna or anything to do with Krishna's uh, contact. So mm -hmm. I just pray that, you know, somewhere, somebody, you know, they will get the contact back again. So they can come and also experience the same as what we all are experiencing. Okay. So you're actually feeling compassionate for them and then you pray that the best will happen for them, right? Yes. And the uh, very best example, remember I told you about the Indonesian Indian guy? Yes, I yes, I the... want to know. Yeah, 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 yes. Tomorrow you will see him. You can interview him. You must see the difference in him, Mataji. He just wow. started about two weeks, two weeks ago. Now he's <laughs> doing about seven rounds already. Haribol, Mataji, look at 
say that your <laughs> compassion as that is your compassion mataji it's not the pity it is actually compassion mm-hmm. you're compassionate towards that soul trapped in this right. world just like us and you wanted to give the mercy that you also gotten in your lives through somebody yeah. you have gotten it and you are sharing it and yes yes true mataji that's the way so to I'm go so mataji happy for him yes yes <laughs> i'm so happy for him every day he will call me with bunch of problems every day and sometimes i wonder how is he getting entangled with this type of problems you know that you can never mm. think about and i told him i just want you to shut up you know no more complaining <laughs> i just want you to take this chanting beat and start chanting that's all mm. and he to start that it took him some time and i told myself krishna please show your mercy let him start as fast as he can you know don't wait for tomorrow next year and all these things eventually wow. i scolded him he started once he started he cannot stop <laughs> <laughs> nice mata ji guru means heavy you are the first teacher there are three teacher vratman guru uh, chaitya guru shiksha diksha guru and shiksha guru vratman is the person who um show the way the first person to show the way so this way we may have so many people or maybe just one person so in his case you are the first guru so you are the first teacher so, so as long as he's comfortable then you can be heavy i mean you you know how to relate with him so yeah and fortunately he has taken it mother yeah sometimes yes. it's like that right yes mother i'm so happy for that. It. <laughs> <laughs> like that <laughs> yes hari krishna mata ji that's all my sharing so your prayers was uh, fulfilled thank you mata ji yes thank you for yes sharing. more more yes thank you <laughs> thank you mata ji okay very nice inspirational prayers shared one more person we can hear from one other person it doesn't have to be spiritual because later we will get into spirituality so generally what do you pray what do you pray every day one more person ஸ்ரீஷாஜிஷ்ணாஜிஸ்ணாஜிஸ்ணாஜிஸ்ணாஜிஸ்ணாஜிஸ்ணாஜிஸ்ணாஜிஸ்ணாஜிஸ்ண
all right so they are all good because they are doing something good all right no matter what is the intention or the motivation behind their uh, surrendering or prayers but they are on the right path okay because they are seeking god so all of us pray for something at some time different time different prayers different needs and desires so this way we will see how to offer the best prayers okay so the topic for this week will be importance of prayers okay so as usual we will do recap can somebody tell what is the title for i mean title of last week rules and declaration mm, yeah so particularly what did we do What did we do? What kind of rules and regulation we covered last week? Did we cover rules and regulations on the road, in the school? Yoga. Okay. Bhakti yoga is part of it, Mataji. So what is that rules and regulation? What do we call it? What do we call it? So there are generally there are four regulatory principles of every man, right? No, no meat eating, no gambling, no intoxication, no illicit sex. This is generally applicable for all human beings, whether he's taking a bhakti yoga or not. Okay. But there's another regulative principle. What we call that in full? Devotional service. Regulative principles of bhakti yoga. Okay. So we put that together. Regulative principles of bhakti yoga. Okay, so this is what we covered last week. Okay, and then we saw the differences between um, bhakti or life filled with devotional service, devotional activities versus current life. Okay, and then we saw various levels of bhakti yoga. How many levels are there? I think this topic I already, I, I'm asking questions like so many times already. Anybody? Okay, except for Yashoda Priya Mataji, I want to hear from others. What is the first level, the best level of bhakti yoga? It's in chapter 12 in devotional service, but we covered this, I think, in the last two weeks as well. What is the best? Um, Charana Mataji. Prima Bhakti. Okay, what kind of bhakti is that? Prima what does a devotee in the best level of bhakti yoga, what does he do? Uh, this Prima different bhakti. level. Mm, okay, uh, what does he do? What does he do? Practically, what does he do? Uh, approach uh, Lord in such a way that uh, must do a lot of devotional service, must do a lot of uh, service, uh, do service to devotees so that he, uh, Krishna likes us. Krishna likes okay. those who do the uh, service to Guru Maharaj and devotees. Mm. Okay. And let, then uh, must increase the chanting. By when he while do chanting, must have a proper intention. So mm. then my, my, my mind must not go out of it. Uh, must fully focus on chanting. So uh, after that, when the Prima Bhakti comes, tears will come, hair stands on ends. Etc. Et okay, very nice. You have given a very nice explanation. Okay, all these activities that Charana Mataji mentioned, how often a person in the best, the first level of Bhakti Yoga does it? How, how often does he do it? Mataji, I try. Yes, Rajina Mataji. Uh, the mind must be fully fixed on Krishna for 24 hours. Very good. That the one hits the bull's eye. All right. That is the first level. Always thinking of Krishna. 24 hours daily. All the activity that Charana Mataji say, that person in the best level, the first level, he does it 24 hours. Okay. What is the next level? Level two. Because not everybody is possible to follow the level one. So Krishna gave alternative. What is level two? Which most of us are there, around about there. Um, Ganti Mataji. Um, of course, I was not around for most of the. Oh, okay. okay so, but but what do you think? Um, uh, is it like uh, like what you said? Uh, no meat eating. Uh, 
no intoxication regulative oh. principles of bhakti yes mataji you got the term correct you got the term correct regulative principles of bhakti yoga but it's not referring to the no meat eating no gambling not that that one is general regulative principles of life so what you got is correct regulative principle of bhakti yoga which is like what i want examples from prema mataji thank you hari krishna uh, thank you mataji hari krishna mataji is it like swaranam kirtanam uh no uh, just give me in a normal layman term mataji what are what are these regulative principles of bhakti the level 2 is it like bathing in the morning mm like then doing yes and aarti in the morning if okay. we are eating something cook and then make it into prasad serve to krishna first yes very good whatever work that we do make sure you engage krishna as well earning also engage with krishna yes very nice yes got it mataji okay so yeah thank you prema mataji okay yes, so move you. on moving on the next aspect we covered last week is the material difference between material service versus devotional service so what is the difference anybody remember what is not present in material service is present in devotional service what's the difference we are doing service we are doing materially we are serving people and but you are talking about spiritually serving god so what is the difference here it's just one word hello krishna mataji matter yes, service matter service Sorry. is uh, temporary devotional service is internal and uh, eternal right very good that's very good okay so that means we have more than one answer kajya mataji you got the right answer there That what does that mean don't expect returns that means whatever we do we don't expect something in return right okay so you do it with what in material service we don't have that element in devotional service we have that what is that mataji sorry i can't hear you mataji love the love yes <laughs> correct you are not well mataji are you no, right? no i'm okay i've just been quiet the whole day i didn't talk to anyone So it's wow. probably my first conversation of this. <laughs> so your voice has gone for a hibernation. <laughs> yeah, only talk to my dog. Oh. <laughs> right. So matter service has no love. Devotional service has. Okay. So what do we do? Well, how do we do this process? How do we take up this process? It's one of the things that uh, Sharana Mataji mentioned earlier. How do we do it? Practice under. guidance of guru guru what verse is that in bhagavad gita which verse oh, in bhagavad no. <laughs> yeah which verse in bhagavad gita talks about the relationship between disciple and guru 5.29 amata ji hmm tadu it is peace formula right peace formula right <laughs> Mm, okay. Four point three four. The clue. Chapter. Yes. Four point three four. Okay. Very good. Kaja Mata Ji. Yeshoda Mai Mata Ji. Very good. Okay. Four point three four. Can somebody read the translation? Uh, so I'm going to ask until everybody memorizes this verse. Translation. Read. Okay, Mata Ji. Can. Four point three four. Just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. Inquire from him. submissively and render service unto him the self realized soul can impact knowledge impart impart, uh, impart knowledge unto you because they have seen the truth very good okay thank you mataji so you all can see the flow right we are talking about regulative principle of bhakti yoga okay what's the difference the material service has no love uh, the devotional service has and another answer mataji said uh it this gives you a temporary benefit and this gives you eternal benefit okay so how do we do it we do it under the guidance of spiritual master and the verse 4.34 is very 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 important okay so please try to remember that okay and we follow the principle which uh, we already covered earlier prema mata ji helped us okay and then finally what did we do we were talking about austerity what austerity we are doing in our life do you do it go to the cave meditate for thousands of years or we stand on one leg uh without food and water 
do we do that kind of austerity? So what kind of austerity that we learned last week? We had agadasi yesterday. So fast, is it? Yes, fasting. Okay, so what are the occasions that we do fast? Fasting. Other than agadasi. So yesterday was agadasi. Tomorrow is another fasting day. So we appearance day. Blue yes, appearance, appearance day. Avatar day. appearance day. Correct. Correct. Can you repeat that, Mataji? Guru's appearance day and mm -hmm. also any of our Vishnu avatars appearance day. Yes, and also uh, Vaishnava Acharya's uh, appearance and disappearance day. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so tomorrow we have Lord Nityananda's appearance day. So we usually we will check with our temple authority whether it's a full day fasting or half day fasting. Half day fasting should be until 1.30 and full day fasting should be until moonrise. Um, usually it's after 7.30 or 8 should be safe. Okay, right. So tomorrow is half day fasting. So that's our recap. Okay, so now we are going to enter importance of prayers. Prayers comes as one of the Nava Vida Bhakti. What is Nava Vida Bhakti? Nava means nine. Vida means the way to approach God. Bhakti means devotion. So does it ring a bell? What is Nava Vida Bhakti? We have done this many times, but now I'm going to test or uh, based on the terms that I'm using. Nava Vida Bhakti. What does it indicate? Is it the nine forms of devotional service? Swarana? Yes, correct. Nine devotional service. Very good, Mataji. Okay, nine devotional service. Now I would like one by one to tell us. Okay, so I'm going to ask from Prema Paku Mataji. Mataji, are you there? Mataji is not there. Okay, you're there. Yeah. What is I the first one, Mataji? First. Is meditation? No. Okay. Okay, we will show the answers. Okay, I'm just... Uh, anybody else? Can I, Mataji? Travana. Yes. Travana. Okay. Travana. What does that mean? Travana. Uh, Shavana is uh, remembering. No. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, Shavana, uh, yeah, Shavana is uh, uh, saying... Uh, hearing. No. Listening. Hearing, hearing. Hearing. Yes, hearing. Hearing to what? Hearing to Krishna Katha. Uh -huh. Krishna's glories. Krishna's yes, singing. very good. Okay, Sravana means listening to the names of and stories about God. So, okay, anything. Glorification, names, stories. So all this come under Sravana. So this is what you are doing on the other side. Okay, second one. Kirtana. Kirtana, what does that mean? Chanting. Chanting or singing about God or mm -hmm. glorifying God. Okay. Mm. Indra Mataji, number three. Everybody be alert. <laughs> I'm going to call Remember, anytime. Remembering. Remembering. Okay. Remembering. What does that mean? Uh, what is the Sanskrit term? Mm. Anybody you like? Maranam. Maranam. Remembering God throughout the day. Ah, so this is very easy, right? Sravana, Kirtana, Smarana. Always this is the top three that we always discuss. It's very easy. Now we are going into slightly difficult. Number four. Who knows? Pada Sevanam. What does that mean, Mataji? Pada Sevanam means serving lotus feet. Yes. Very good. Okay. Still easy. Number five. Archanam. Archanam meaning? Deity worship. Worshipping, yes. Okay, number six. Pandanam. Pandanam meaning, Mataji? Uh, prayers to, offering prayers to Lord Krishna. Very good. Thank you, Mataji. Pandanam, offering prayers or pray, praises or glorifications. Okay. So, four, five, six. So, sometimes you get confused here. All right. Father Sevanam, Archanam, Vandanam. So, you remember like three, three, three. Sravana, Kirtana, Smaranam. Father Sevanam, Archanam, Vandanam. Okay. We are going into last three. 
what is the number seven? Dashyam. Okay, Dashyam. Meaning? Executing, executing orders as a servant to Lord, as a servant. Dashyam, coming from Dasa. Dasa means servant, becoming servant of the Lord. Dashyam, next. Uh, number eight. Sakyam. Sakyam, meaning? Serving as friend. Okay, developing a friendship of with God. Okay, yeah. Sakyam. Dashyam, Sakyam. Finally, what we will you do at the ultimate of the Bhakti Yoga? Atma Nivedanam. At Atma Nivedanam, meaning? Self Complete surrender. surrender. Complete surrender. Okay, can you remember this? Yeah. Okay, so today, what is the topic of today? And falls under which one? Which anga? Which service? Remembering the Lord. Again? Arjunam. Arjunam. Worshipping, is it? No. Importance what is the topic of, of today? Importance of prayers. Prayers. So which one is that? Importance of prayers. Kirtana? Offering prayers. Hmm. Offering prayers. Number six. Ta-da! Okay, so this is what we are going to do today. Okay, this is a very important topic actually because um, as we know, sometimes we pray for the wrong things. Sometimes it comes true, all right? And then when it comes true, uh, we are still angry. Why we are asked for this? So which means we, we might not know what we want, what we need. I mean, we, we want a lot of things, but we don't know what we need, all right? And we beg God to give us and when he gives, it entangles us more into the complexities. All right. So whose fault is it? Okay. So we need to know what to pray. Okay. So this is why we fall back to the sastras and the acharyas and follow how prayers were said. Okay. Prayers were sung. Okay. So where this whole thing comes from, this whole uh, topic of nine, nine devotional service. Who spoke about this? Priyashacharya. Um, okay. Who is it particularly? Who gave us this nine devotional services? Uh, Prabhupada. Okay, yeah, of Prabhupada. course. Prabhupada. Through him. It's a small boy. Mahalai. Pra Yes, Pralad Maharaj. Pralad when Maharaj. when did he give this? You know, he was put into the ashram of um, Sukracharya with all the demons, uh, demon king's sons. So there he was doing preaching. So this is one of the things that he gave, teachings of Pralad Maharaj. Okay, so these are the information about this nine devotion service. Okay, so try to remember that. So now I'm bringing you the verse where he mentions this. Okay, I would like um, Kajai Mataji to read the Sanskrit and also the English. Hi, Krishna. Sri, uh, with the music, uh, yo, I forgot the... Uh, no, 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 just uh, recite. Uh, just read, read Oniya. Yes. Sri Prarada Uvacha, Swaranam Kirtanam Vishnu, Swaranam Pada Sevanam, Archanam Bandhanam Dashyam, Sakyam Atma Nivedanam, Iti Pumsar Pita Vishnau Bhaktish, Chen, Nava Lakshana, Priyeta Bhagavati Atta Dan Manye Manyetam Uttamam. Although prayers are a part of deity worship, they may be considered separately like the other items, such as hearing and chanting, and therefore separate statements are given herewith. The Lord has unlimited transcendental qualities and opulences, and one who feels influenced by the Lord's qualities in various activities offers prayers to the Lord. In this way, he becomes successful. All right. Thank you, Kajai Mataji. So there are two points here that uh, Vandanam is also as important as hearing and chanting. Okay. So it's same and different. Okay. That's why it's listed separately. So the important point here is that why prayers? Because the Lord has unlimited transcendental qualities and opulences. And when we are smitten by that, when we are in great awe and you know, reverence, uh, looking at Krishna's uh, opulence and qualities, 
automatically we want to offer prayers to glorify him and it is mentioned that in this way one becomes successful okay so this is the importance of prayers okay while we are at it there are certain offenses that we need to avoid okay can we have somebody to volunteer to read Can I, Mataji? Yes, yeah, Mataji. Offenses to be avoided. In this connection, the following are some of the offenses to be avoided. To offer obeisance on one hand. To offer obeisance with one's body covered. To show one's back to the deity. To offer obeisance on the left side of the deity. To offer obeisance very near the deity. Okay. So I think the B is meant for man, because usually man with chadar, right? And have you noticed that in South Indian temples, when we with devotees, we go, right? We cover our head. They will ask us to remove the coverings for them to put the chadari darshan. Okay, so it depends on the temple, their practices. Okay, so, so talking about so much of prayer, is the Lord actually hankering for our prayers and service? Okay, of course, everybody will say, no, of course, the Lord is not hankering. He is complete in himself. Okay, and he is not waiting for any prayers or service or any food. He is complete in himself. Okay, there are, remember, thousands of Lakshmi serving him. He doesn't need, all right. But the services is given for Krishna for one reason. Anybody can guess what is that reason? What is the benefit for us? When we do that, when we offer prayers, what do we get? Blessing. Anybody bless you? Yes. Okay. Blessing in what form, Mataji? What happens within us when we do this regularly? You're connected I to feel him. peaceful. Okay. Like, um, I'll be taken yes, care of. Satisfied, Mataji. <laughs> Self satisfaction. Mm, Self satisfaction. Mm. You're creating a connection with him. A connection, yeah. Yes, okay. Connection. Okay, we are connecting. All right. Sambandha. Mm -hmm. what, what happens between uh, in, within us? We are here in this contaminated world, right? Okay. So when uh, we do purification. Prayers, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I already given out the <laughs> answer. <No. laughs> Very sharp. Listen Amma, carefully. You? <laughs> very sharp, very sharp. Yes. Okay. <laughs> if you offer service, if you offer prayers, you become purified because we are covered. Even when we shed our body during the destruction of the body, we are carrying what we are carrying from an, to another life. What are we carrying? We are definitely not carrying this body. What, what are we carrying? Karma. Karma. Okay, so there are, there's gross body. So when I'm, the term yeah. that I'm referring to is gross body. So we are shedding our oh. gross body, but we are carrying something else to another gross body. What is that that we are carrying? Atma. Okay, of course, Atma. Atma. But there is a covering. What is that covering that outside the Atma? It's mm. like whatever that we have, much like a bonus of spirituality, we bring it back, right? Yes. So there is an element this that is, is carrying sariram that. Sariram and all that, Amataji. Uh, sariram is body. Uh -huh. So that, that element that Kajai Mataji say, that impression, uh, an uh -huh. element carrying it to another body. What is that? This one oh, we covered in chapter 13. It comes under 24 elements of the body. Oh. Mm. Priya Mataji. Ini kita sudah buat last week, huh? body. Level 2. Saya tak ada. last week. Level 2 class, Mataji. 24 elements, remember? The working senses, lah, the knowledge acquiring yeah. senses. It's the subtle body with our yes, soul. Yes, subtle body. All right. So when we shed the uh. gross body, we have subtle body still covering the Atma. So why it's going to another body, another body, another body, it will keep going like that until that is purified. So we need that purification. Therefore, we are here in this level three chapter, uh, level three, week 14. Okay, for prayers. So, if we do that, then we can see God, we can talk to God, we can take his instruction directly from him, all right? With this body, we cannot, we have to purify this cross body, subtle body, and the, the, pure, the pure spirit soul will go to and communicate with Krishna. Okay, follow the process, okay? This is the process, all right? The Lord is not anchoring. We need it, we need it, all right? 
the Lord to accept. We just have to beg for Krishna to accept it. Okay. Um, let's talk about uh, desire. People's desire. Okay. Can we have somebody to read for us? Or who have not spoken today? Rajina Mataji. I, I, you have spoken, but you have not read. Okay. Naikat matam me. Uh, English will do, Mataji. Yeah, okay. A pure devotee who is attached to the activities of devotional service and who always engages in the service of my lotus feet never desires to become one with me. Such a devotee who is unflinchingly engaged always glorifies my pastimes and activities. All right. Thank you, Mataji. So how many times before we had received this transcendent knowledge, we have uh, uh, exposed to the theory that... Um, I can become God if I do certain things like meditate or some yogic process and I can become a God. I can become God. I can merge with God. Okay. How many of us have gone through that? All right. So the actual knowledge is that a devotee who is, uh, who has unflinching devotion, he is always engaged in glorifying Krishna's pastimes and activities. He is, he got no desire to go and merge with God. Okay. He has no desire. Can we actually merge with God? How about that? How about that question? Yes, we can never be God. We can only return to Him. So what happens when we return to Him? Do we merge in His body? Or do we become one with Him? No. Okay, why? Mm, what philosophy is this? From, from what we have read, it shows that we will be going back to Him and we will be continuing serving Him. Mm -hmm. and, and we are very happy, eternal, blissful, and we won't be uh, like a fallen soul, no materialistic thoughts. Mm -hmm. So we are fully serving him. So how can we merge with him if we are serving him? Very good. Very nice, Mataji. Okay. Can we have some addition to that? Anybody else? What is another reason we cannot be God or we cannot merge with God? Why? Or if you have any example that you have read in Prabhupada's book or you have heard somewhere, please share with us. I would like you all to share. If no, then I will give. Come. Why we cannot merge with God? Why we cannot be God? Shoda Priya Mataji. We did this on Friday. Do you remember? Do you remember the green bird and the tree? Yeah, because yes. we are the soul. He is the super soul. And okay. then uh, we, got, we, in this, we got two souls. One is uh, soul and one is super soul. Then, uh, no, no, Mataji, that one is two birds in the tree. And then two birds in the tree. One is, now, is, one is watching. That the, is different. That is soul and super soul. Yeah. No, no, Mataji. That one is soul and super soul. That one different example. Now this is the green bird. Uh, bird and green tree. The green bird want to ah uh, want to match to the tree the same color. You mean? Yes, the, yes. Do you remember uh, the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The means I know that the two birds on it that one watching uh, would uh, the another okay. bird. All right. Working. Um, okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Now that the clue is out. Who can add on to that? It's a green bird and a green tree. That is the concept. Anybody would like to try? Mm, is it same color, different object, Mataji? Mm, okay. The answer I want to give is we are imperfect. Means we are quantity, we become quality, a tree. quality, and not, ah. <laughs> yeah. and not quantitative. Mr. Yes. Hans. Okay. Hans. I'm looking for this particular yeah. word. I'm looking for this particular word. It starts with I. We are maintaining our, even when you go back to the spiritual world, we are maintaining our what? It starts with I. Gunalan Prabhu, would you like to try? Is it our I, identity? Sorry? Our identity? identity. Yes. Yes. Actually, it's individuality. We will maintain our individuality even when we go back to the spiritual world. So just like a green bird flies into a green tree, it can never become the green tree. 
it will always be green bird. Okay, so this is the example. So this is where we can actually use the philosophy to refute the theory of merging with God, becoming God. Okay, so this is called achintya beda abeda tatwa. We have a oneness and difference. We are same in quality but difference in quantity. So ready for God. I know this achintya. Yeah, no problem. Now you can go open and uh, the PDF and see. <laughs> Okay, so uh, thank you for letting me to explain this. I hope it's not very, but it's important. Huh? This philosophy is important. Okay, so, uh, so a devotee who is always uh, not desiring to uh, become one with Krishna, but he, his desire is only glorifying his pastime as an activity for... For, why does he do this? Why do we do this? The glorifications? Uh, I hope you all remember. Matajis, <laughs> please speak. <laughs> why do we do this? Do we glorify? Yeah, why? To remember Krishna? Yeah, why, why do we do this? For our? Purification? Yes. <laughs> Too many answers in the head. <laughs> Don't know which one. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to let you relax a bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can, Mataji. Somehow the answer will be right. It will be like a philosophically correct. Maybe I'm just looking for the right terms. Okay. So, Uttama Sloka. Uttama Sloka is another name for Krishna. It means that he is worshipped by the best selected words. So earlier we already covered some concepts. Now we are entering the prayers, the kind of prayers, where we take the prayers from. Okay, what is the content of the prayers? Okay, so um, it means, this Uttama Sloka means that we, we are not encouraged to worship the Lord with our own words. Okay, we, we do not find the perfect words. Okay, so we always fall back to the Vedic scriptures or the self-realized souls, the words that have given that have been given to us by the self-realized souls. Okay, I'm so tempted to ask one question. Can I? <laughs> Why are we not encouraged to use our own words? Why are we recommended to fall back to the scriptures and acharyas, guru, sadhu, sastra? Why? We covered this in the early weeks of level three. Why? What we do we have? Follow, we must always follow the... Why? What the, is that? The, uh, scripture. Uh, the this is about the defects that we have. No Ajara society. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we always follow the policy guideline SOP. So we don't get drifted <laughs> and we don't do things whimsically. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So Yeshuda Mai Mataji. Because we have four defects. Would you like to list out the defects that we have? Uh, oh. Me? Yeshuda Mai Mataji. Yeah. Because he did the class recently, right? So sorry, I pick you. <laughs> no problem. Uh, in perfect senses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Illusion. Mm -hmm. Cheating. Tendency to cheat. Yeah. Commit mistake. Yes, four. Okay, so can remember? Can somebody please put it in the chat? Um, other than Yashoda Mai Mataji, <laughs> other than Yashoda Mai Mataji, whoever heard it, the four defects, please put in the chat. Okay, okay. So because of that, we are to we are encouraged to use the words given in the scriptures and by acharyas. Okay. So even though the Christians and Muslims they do not worship deity, but they also offer prayers. So you can see how much importance are given for prayers. Okay. All right, so that is also bhakti, okay? That is also bhakti. Okay, let's see. Imperfect senses, tendency to cheat. Illusion. One more. 
come with me. Stay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mataji. Okay. So why? Because we have passed 14 weeks. We don't want to forget what we have learned in the beginning because it's all very, very much related. We always want to tie back to the concept, the fundamental concept that we are going on. All right. So it's very important to always tie back. So what is the safest uh, prayers? Okay, you know, there's one prayer Queen Kunti did in, um, it's in Bhagavatam. She will say, uh, anybody remember the story that I say? Because when she... When the Pandavas were in trouble, they, uh, Krishna always comes and save them, can, uh, can come and support them or rescue them. You know, he, Some way he will come. So whenever there is calamity, Krishna comes. So when, uh, at the time, when the time comes after the, the war, uh, Krishna has to go back to his uh, kingdom. Okay? Um, uh, Queen Kunti was a bit sad right? because the Lord is leaving them okay, to carry on with his duty. And she will say this prayer, let the calamity come again and again. Why Queen Kunti wished for calamity to come again and again? Anybody like to answer? Why, why so would then, uh, she can remember Krishna all the time. Yeah, so that Krishna will come again will and come. again. To see them. All right. When Krishna, when you see Krishna again and again and again, so what is happening there? Purification is happening there. The benefit is for the Pandavas because they can get to see the Krishna uh, very often. So that is why uh, they want calamity again and again so that Krishna will come. But what happens if we pray for that? I have a friend who actually prayed for this with her, you know, very heartfelt prayers. And true enough, there were a lot of challenges. Okay, so, and then we were like joking, okay, we have to be very careful with what we pray. So from then on, it is, it's, we have to be always conscious about what we are asking. Okay, sometimes we don't know what we want, then we can just leave it to God. God, Krishna, you know the best. If you so desire, uh, you can give me this. We always want to go back to Krishna. Krishna, if you permit, give me this. If you permit, uh, let me do this. It's always like that. Okay, we cannot demand God to give us something. All right. And um, so I was also telling somebody recently that I this is where the truth is. You have to find the safest prayer to tell Krishna because Krishna knows what to give us. All right. So the safest prayer is, what is the safest prayer that we all do every day? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Just chant Hare Krishna Ma Mantra. Uh, yeah. yeah. Jesus, Hare Krishna. Yeah, I agree. Everybody agree. This is the safest prayer. Okay, so... 120%. <laughs> yeah, safest prayer. If Krishna knows what to give. What is the meaning of this mantra? What is the meaning of this mantra? Okay, I think we will come to that. I think there is an explanation, but I just want to ask who knows the meaning? Hare Krishna Rama. There are three words here. What is Hare? Referring to somebody or something of somebody. Hare means Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu. Sorry, Rani. Hare means Radharani. Radharani. Yeah. Radharani. All right. Radharani is energy of Krishna. Uh, Krishna is, what does Krishna mean? Beauty. Mm -hmm. Beauty is just part of it. His energy. Mm, energy is Hare. Krishna's energy. Oh, energy is Hare. Yeah. Mm. Krishna, so we want to know what are we praying for. So what is Krishna? All attractive. All attractive. Oh, all attractive. How many times you tell Reddy Mataji, but you still have to think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when you start chanting tomorrow, you will know Hare means you're calling energy of Krishna. When you say Krishna, you're calling someone who's all attractive. And one who possesses all the six opulences, he is naturally, automatically becomes attractive. What are the six opulences? Sorry, uh, I think by the end of the session, you all be drained. Is it difficult? I think we have done this a few times, right? It's all should be making a tips. Yeah, beauty, fame, enunciation. How many? Five, yeah. mm, can type Trend. it out also so that we can keep track. Six opulence. 
Mataji said strength. about fame, fame, reputation, strength, 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 yeah, knowledge, knowledge, and yes. Okay, so this one also somebody can help us to put in uh, the chat. Okay, so it's a good revision on that. All right. What about Rama? Rama means beauty. Mm. Pleasure. Mm. Pleasure, <laughs> reservoir of pleasure. Okay. Okay, so we are actually uh, asking Krishna, O oh, energy of Krishna, O oh, the Lord who is all attractive, O oh, the Lord who is a reservoir of pleasure, please. What, what are we asking from Krishna? Please give me wealth. Is it? <laughs> please be with us. Please engage me, me, me into your service. Yes, please engage me in your service. Itulah samam bolam of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. That is why it is called Maha Mantra. It covers everything there. When you are engaged in the seva, Krishna will give you what you need, what we need. Okay, this is the best and easiest prayer. That is why it is called the what Dharma. Yuga Dharma. Yuga Dharma of Kali Yuga. Okay? Okay, yeah. so two minutes, two seconds break. <laughs> okay, so we won. <laughs> two seconds are so stingy. Okay, so we are entering. <laughs> Sorry, Mother <Jesus. laughs> So, prayers from various scriptures. Okay? So, we are, since we are not so perfect to pray with our own words, of course, Krishna will understand our, it's not like you cannot pray with your own words. But it is recommended that we repeat the words that has been given in the scriptures and given by Acharyas. Okay? So, first we will see some, only couple of slokas only yeah, from Bhagavad Gita. This is from chapter 11. Uh, we would like somebody to read out with so much of heart. This is a prayer Arjuna says after he gets the darshan of universal form. is describing the Lord in a very magnificent way. Anybody would like to volunteer? Let me read. Yes, yes, please, Mataji. Uh, Prabhu. I'll read in English. Yeah? Can, can. Okay. Arjuna saw in that universal form unlimited mouth, unlimited eyes, unlimited wonderful visions. The form was decorated with many celestial ornaments and bore many divine upraised weapons. I, hold on, I'm sorry. Ah, yeah. So, so, I'm sorry, sorry. Too small, is it? Yeah. I didn't bring my reading glasses. Oh. Is it okay for you to continue? I'm still trying to go back. Oh, yeah. Sorry, can somebody read it because I'm having some issues. Okay, okay. It's okay, Prabhu. Take your time. Uh, anybody else would like to continue? The form was decorated. Mataji, why so silent? Shall I, Mataji? Yes, yes, Mataji. The form was decorated with many celestial ornaments and bore many divine upraised weapons. He wore celestial gar garlands and garments and many divine scents were smeared over his body. All was wondrous, brilliant, unlimited and all expanding. Yeah, very nice, Mataji. So we can also sing Aneka Vaktana Yanam Aneka Buddha Darshanam Aneka Divya Bharanam Divya Neko Yata Yudham. So like this, Aneka means unlimited. Okay, so he's got unlimited mouth, unlimited eyes, unlimited wonderful visions. Okay, he's got ornaments and weapons and then he has garlands and gums, which means he has a form and that form is decorated by unlimited uh, opulence. Okay, and then they would sense, uh, sense over his body. Okay, and everything was wondrous, brilliant, unlimited, all expanding. Okay, so that is 1, 10, and 11. Okay, so remember at this point of time, uh, Arjuna will see everything is so nice, so, so wonderful, everything. So later it will, it will change to something more um, terrific, gory, that uh, 
everybody like running into Krishna's mouth and his sharp teeth is crushing everything. So it comes to from all the beautiful, colorful, wonderful, it comes to a very uh, disturbing scene. Krishna will change his universal form to a more disturbing vision, giving disturbing uh, images, uh, disturbing uh, scene. All right. And then Arjuna will start feeling disturbed. All right. So when he gets that, eventually he will ask, who are you? Why you are here? Like that. Who are you? Then Krishna will say, I am. Krishna will say, I am. What Krishna will say when Arjuna asks this question, who are you? What is your mission? Why you have come? He will ask this question. How Krishna answers that in chapter 11 is a very, very important phrase. Who remembers this? What, what is Krishna in chapter 11? It's just got four letters. It starts with T. Who attended Sunday Feast class today? Prabhu was talking about this. Dash I am. What is that? Punita Mataji, can you help us? Sorry, I wasn't really listening. <laughs> oh. Dash I am. Okay, Yashoda Mai Mataji, what Krishna will say? What Krishna will say? Kajai Mataji, do you remember this face? <laughs> Four quarter. Actually, looking oh, through the Bhagavad Gita. I want to Gita. cry. Huh? I'm actually looking through the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 11. Yeah, yes. Ken, Ken. But I'm looking for chapter the, 11. Arjuna will be praising and praising. Correct. After that, Arjuna will ask, what? Are you okay? Let's search. Let's take a minute to search that. Okay, text 30. You see here, time 31. I can time somebody time. Uh, time. can somebody read the 31? Oh, uh, who is that? And uh, is it Anti Mataji? Anti Mataji, yeah. would you like to read for us 31 and 32? Oh, 11. Time, is it? Chapter 11, text 31 and 32, Mataji. 31 and 32. Yeah. Yes. I, I, oh, Lord of Lords, so fierce of form, please tell me who you are. I offer my obeisances unto you. Please be gracious to me. You are the primal Lord. I want to know about you, for I do not know what your mission is. Be, uh, Bible Gita 32, the Supreme Personality of God hates it. Time I am, the great destroyer of the worlds, and I have come here to destroy all people with the exception of you, the Pandavas. All the soldiers here on both sides will be slain. Okay, so now that Mataji has read for us, I have, a, I have two questions. What Krishna says he is? He's time. Time, time I am. And the yes, he says he is time. Yes. So yeah. why has he come? I have to come to, to destroy, destroy all people. All the people. Yes. Okay. So when Arjuna heard, when Krishna says he's a destroyer, naturally Arjuna is scared. Okay. Actually, Arjuna doesn't have to be scared. All right. Okay. It's just for us. All right. So Krishna will tell Arjuna. So see Arjuna. Um, I remember this one, Kajai Mataji, one time in, my, in our level one, when, I, when we were talking about this. Mataji, you remember? Or not, what did you say in Tamil? that day? Krishna has already put a plan for everybody. He's, he's here to destroy. Everybody is destroyed under his direction. So Arjuna is just an instrument to execute that order. <laughs> I still remember what Kajai Mataji said in level one. And that was like a year ago, okay? He killed right and he went I like, you know, I killed, I killed, I killed Mataji, everyone. Mataji? Is that <laughs> the one he would say? Kill. He'd say when he killed everyone, he'll say, oh my God, I killed, I killed these people. I killed, is that the pit? The pit where Krishna will say, Satapamba, you know, all you did was yeah, just whack, that's, that's you know, a dead snake. The rest of it, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's what he would say. Yeah, I re remember that line when you said <laughs> that. So yeah, everything Krishna already arranged. So, so he's using Arjuna to get the glory. So this is how Krishna does for his pure devotees. Krishna will do everything, but the glories he will give the, the devotee. All right. So 
Um, so when Arjuna saw the the actual mission of Krishna, he becomes very disturbed. He's get, he gets scared, all right? And then he will become apologetic, all right? And he will say this prayer. Can we have somebody to read this first, please? Hare Krishna. Okay, Mataji. Thinking of you as my friend, I have rashly addressed you, O Krishna, O Yadava, O my friend, not knowing your glories. Please forgive whatever I may have done in madness or in love. I have dishonored you many times, just leave as we relaxed, lay on the same bed or sat or act together, sometimes alone and sometimes in front of many friends. Oh, inflammable one, please excuse me for all those offenses. Hare Krishna. Oh, okay, so thank you, Mataji. So you can see here Arjuna is saying, sorry. Oh, Krishna, I didn't know you're such a great personality. All right, I treated you like a cousin, as a friend, as my uh, contemporary. And we have done all these kind of a very um, intimate things, very casual and informal um, uh, actions between them. Okay, so he's now he sees Krishna in his universal form with so much awe reverence. Okay, so he admits that formerly he did not know that Krishna could assume such a universal form. Okay, uh, because Krishna mentioned that he is an intimate friend, but still Arjuna couldn't accept it. Okay, and Arjuna did not know how many times he have uh, casually called Krishna, oh my friend, oh Krishna, oh Yadava, like that, without acknowledging his opulence. Okay, but Krishna is so kind and merciful that even he has all his opulence, he has decided to be the um, intimate friend of Krishna, the charioteer of Krishna in the war. So what opulence is this showing of, of Krishna? What opulence is this? He has all opulence, but he can take up a very menial position to serve Arjuna in the battlefield. What opulence is this that Krishna is manifesting here, displaying here? So out of the six opulence, this is related to one of the opulences. What is that? Renunciation. Yes, renunciation. He renounces everything. Okay, He never say, oh, I'm the supreme lord of the entire universe, the entire creation. How can I be your chariot? No. He never say that. For the love of his friend, he has taken up that position. Okay, so, so the relationship between Krishna and the living entity is eternally fixed. Okay, so it's always fixed. Okay. And uh, even though uh, Krishna, uh, Arjuna has seen the opulence of Krishna, he cannot forget the friendly relationship with Krishna that he has. Okay, so now Arjuna is asking um, forgiveness. Okay, he goes on further to ask forgiveness. Okay, this is where we can, um, you know, if you want to ask forgiveness. All right, so there are four levels. Actually, I forgot to put this in the slide. I want to share with you. There are four levels of a prayer that you can do. First, you glorify the Lord. Glorify the Lord. Second, we speak. Of that number four is our request. Then you request. If you desire Krishna, you can give me this or you can do this for me or I want to do this so. Like if you desire, always put if you desire. Okay, we don't want to demand. So remember, glorifying the Lord, um, speaking of our low position. Okay, we are taking up a very uh, fallen position, very humble position. Number three is uh, thanking Krishna for what he has given us. Number four is a request. Okay, glorifying, thanking, seek forgiveness and request. Okay, so he goes on. This is the I'm sorry part, right? So Arjuna goes on. Can somebody read for us? Come, Mataji. Okay. You are the Supreme Lord to be worshipped by every living being. Thus, I fall down to offer you my respectful obeisances and ask your mercy. As a father tolerates the impudence of his son, a friend of the impertinence of a friend or a husband, the familiarity of his wife, please tolerate the wrongs that I may have done to you. Yes, so this is a continuation. Okay, praise from Bhagavad Gita chapter 11. So like this, we have so many 
Okay, so the the Bhagavad Gita itself, you have so many prayers, so you can just recite that. If you, it's just out of words, right? You want to glorify Krishna, but you don't know how to glorify him, then you always can go back to Bhagavad Gita. Okay, that's another one here. Uh, can we have somebody to quickly read for us? We have to move on. Let me read. You are the father yes. of this complete cosmic manifestation of the moving and the non-moving. You are its worshipful chief and supreme spiritual master. No one is greater than you. Nor can anyone be the one with you. How then could there be anyone greater than you? Greater than you within the three worlds, O Lord of the immeasurable power. Okay, Prabhu. So this verse is glorifying Krishna's incomparable powers. Okay. Previously, it's uh, talking about Krishna's forgiving and kind nature. All right. Okay, so earlier we saw prayers from Bhagavad Gita. So next, we can fall back to Bhagavatam. We do not have verses per se, but have a list of prayers that you can find, list of chapters that you can find the prayers. So this is prayer by Yasade in Canto 1. So 1.1.1 1. 1. 1 means Canto 1, Chapter 1, Verse 1. Okay, and then we have Prayers by Arjuna, Canto 1, Chapter 7, Text 22 to 25. So like this, the Queen Quizzy Prayer. Um, hmm. In our bookshop, there is one book dedicated carrying only the verses of Queen Quizzy's prayers. So you can take that. Okay. Uh, somebody's mic is noisy. Mataji, can I ask you a question? You gave us that Uttama Sloka. Is it also a book in the bookshop? Now, Uttama Sloka is the name of Krishna. That he is worshipped by selected words. That is Uttama Sloka. Uttama is Krishna's name. Yes, I, I, yeah, I understand that. But yeah. is there also a book? Because the picture that you put. Oh, yeah, I think I saw, but I, I didn't pay attention to that whether we have a book on that. So I think it should be some selected slokas to worship uh -huh. Krishna. We can check on that, Mataji. Maybe okay. I can ask Saranagati Mataji if she has oh, that. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm. Okay, Mataji. Okay, so we, uh, the next we have prayers by Bhishma, Sukadev Goswami, Devahuti, Vritrasura, Chitraketu. Okay, all the prayers. Gajendra, remember? Gajendra, he was uh, attacked by a crocodile in the water. Then there's Lord Brahma. We, we also have Brahma Samhita, so we can recite that also. And those uh, two verses we always recite when the Lord opens his darshan every morning. So we have the two verses. Wives of Leah, this is where the, you know, the multi head snakes. Uh, multi head snake uh, attacks the cow herds and uh, cow Vrindavan, and Krishna comes and dance on the heads of the snake. Uh, so, this is prayer by the wives. And then we have prayers by Indra, Gopis, Akrura, Muchukunda, and some prayers from Vedas. Okay, so these are all some beautiful prayers, right? Vedas. Okay. Mm. All right, so now that we are learning something, we always want to know what is the purpose we want to do this. Okay. Of course, generally, we know it's for purification. So let's see some benefits of it. All right. Okay, can we have somebody to read for us who have not read much today? Please, uh, volunteer. Okay, anybody, because we really have to finish. Hare Krishna. Okay, Brahma Mataji. In Srimad Bhagavatam, there are hundreds of prayers to the Lord. So a devotee should select some of these prayers for his recitation. In the Skanda Purana, the glories of these prayers are stated as follows. Devotees whose tongues are decorated always with prayers to Lord Krishna are always given respect even by the great saintly persons and sages. And such devotees are actually worshipable by the demigods. Okay, so the, the glory of a devotee who would offer prayers, okay, they are given respect by even the great saintly persons and sages as well as the devas. Okay, so we move on. Uh, next, anybody? This is also further benefit of offering prayers. Prema Papu Mataji. Hare Krishna. In the... Narasimha Purana, it is stated any person who comes before the deity of Lord Krishna and begins to chant different prayers is immediately re relieved from all the reactions of sinful activities and become 
eligible without any doubt to enter into the Vaikunda Loka. Hare Krishna. Yes, okay. This is another benefit. We can enter Vaikunda Loka by offering prayers. Okay, there's some story here. You all can read from the PDF. It's about how Lord, uh, how Srila Prabhupada introduced Narasimha Pranam. Okay, it's because uh, Prabhupada one time he was ill. I'm just going to give a summary. He was ill and um, the disciples were much, you know, very much in anxiety. So Prabhupada for the first time introduced this Narasimha prayers. So you all can uh, say these prayers and pray to Krishna that... Um, Please, Krishna, our spiritual master, live on a little more because he has some more work finished. Okay, so that is the story you can read here. Okay, I'll give you the PDF. So this is the prayers, Narshima prayers. Okay, if you have time, then probably next week we will learn this. Okay, I'm sure many of you know already. It's a very nice uh, prayer. We always pray this for protection. We can also pray for others. Okay, so I'll just read this. Tavakara Kamalavariya, this one. Oh my Lord Narasimha Deva, your hands are very beautiful, like the lotus flower. But with your long nails, you have ripped apart the wasp Hiranyakashipu. Unto you, Lord of the universe, I offer my humble obeisance. Okay, this is uh, from one verse from the Dasavatara. So there are 10 verses glorifying 10 incarnations of Lord Vishnu, Lord Krishna. So this is on Lord Narasimha. Okay, so now that we have learned how... Uh, to pray. So can somebody, one person share how would you like to change your prayers moving forward? Like previously you were praying differently and now after knowing this information, you want to pray differently now. Can I have one person to share uh, quickly? Uh, shall I, Mataji? Yes, Mataji. Uh, I would like to chant more with more concentration and focus on uh, Krishna. Okay, so you will relish and reflect on that word Hare Krishna and Rama now that you know the meaning, right? Yes, Mataji. Okay, thank you, Mataji. Okay, so this, I... is, the, this is where we, I'm going to show you the meaning. Okay, can somebody read for us? And everybody please try to pay attention. This is the meaning uh, of the Maha Mantra. Prema Mataji. Hare Krishna. In the beginning of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we first address the internal energy of Krishna, Hare. Thus we say, O Radha Rani, O Hare, O energy of the Lord. When we address someone in this way, he usually says, Yes, what do you want? The answer is, Please engage me in your service. This should be our prayer. We should not say, O oh, energy of the Lord, O oh, Krishna, please give me money. Please give me a beautiful wife. Please give me many followers. Please give me some prestige position. Please give me the presidency. There, these are all material hankerings which should be avoided. Lord Buddha advocated that we give up all material desires. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Yeah, thank you, Mataji. So this is the meaning, right? Okay. So of course, after we learn something, we always want to share with others. Okay. Um, Rajina Mataji, can you read for us, please? This is from. These are two verses from Bhagavatam. Okay, Canto Seven. Uh, a person says that he doesn't want to get benefit only for himself. Okay, can we have Mataji? Regina Mataji, okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Kanti Mataji? Uh, yes, Hare Krishna. Uh, do not want to liberate alone. Oh, best of the great personalities, I am not at all afraid of material existence. For wherever I stay, I am fully absorbed in thoughts of your glories and activities. My concern is only for the fools and rascals who are making elaborate plans for material happiness and maintaining their families, societies, and countries. I am simply concerned with love for them. My dear Lord Narasimha Deva, I see that there are many saintly persons indeed, but they are interested only in their own deliverance. 
not caring for the big cities and towns. They go to the Himalayas or the forest to meditate with vows of silence, Maunavrata. They are not interested in delivering others. As for me, however, I do not wish to be liberated alone, leaving aside all these poor fools and rascals. I know that without Krishna consciousness, without taking shelter of your lotus feet, one cannot be happy. Therefore, I wish to bring them back to shelter at your lotus feet. Hare Krishna. Thank, thank you, Mataji. This brings me back to Prema Mataji sharing in the beginning how she wants everybody else to benefit. All right. So this is how a, a kind soul, a kind devotee prays. He prays for others. Okay. So please share whatever you have learned with the people around you. And we'll end the class with one video for, of uh, Srila Prabhupada, this power of holy name. Hello, be thy name. My Lord, Krishna, the personality of God. Let your holy name be glorified. This is our moment. Uh, it is not a sectarian, it is a very scientific moment. Scientific moment because at the present moment we are all godless, forgotten. What is God and what to speak of is name. They do not believe in God and what to speak of his name, fame, his place, his activities, his form, his quality. How we can know? There is no educational system uh, about the science of God. This movement, Krishna Consciousness movement, is teaching the science of God. And if you accept the name of the God, name of God, Krishna, this is also a form in other uh, system also, uh, uh, then uh, you'll be able to associate with God immediately. <coughs> because God is absolute. Absolute means there is no difference. Just like in the relative world, this is relative world. Material world means relative world. Relative world means the son. As soon as I say the son, there must be a father. As soon as I say a friend, there must be another man, friend. As soon as I say water, there must be something as water. <coughs> but in the absolute world, the name water and the water is the same. Uh, this is called absolute. Uh, no different separation. So in the kingdom of God, the God is God and His Son is also God. They are the uh, everything, there is no difference between the name and the substance. Here in this material world, the name and the substance different. Just like if I am thirsty, I want water. <clears throat> so the water must come to me. If I simply chant water, 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 that will not be a bit. Because it is relative world. But in the transcendental world, world Krishna is uh, the name of God and it is God also. Uh, so by chanting Hare Krishna, you are directly in contact with God. This is the meaning of Hare Krishna. Okay. I will share this video in the group as well so you can watch again. So, is there any question? Okay. Is the video just now covered with covered 
yes yes it should have i should have put it behind so that's why i will i will share the video again in the group so you can watch it so you will see the proper speaking the the subtitles you can follow i'll share in the group mother ji auntie yes I'm not so understand about fallible and infallible fallible means making mistakes fall fall it, it comes from f a l l fall fallible infallible so krishna is infallible that he can he will never make mistakes that is the meaning we are fallible we make mistakes krishna is infallible he doesn't make mistakes i see yeah okay thank you i always is anti so but not understand ah yes 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 so he's infallible he doesn't make mistakes okay. all right so any more questions mata ji and prabhu so i hope hari so, krishna mata ji so i'm seeing you all tomorrow yes hey. coming up who's coming tomorrow to so, let me just stop the oh. stop ah uh. i can't see the okay i'll stop uh,